Good morning, guys. It is real early in the morning. For some reason, I couldn't sleep. I woke up. So I was like, oh, good God. I get up. Didn't want to do this this early. It's like 1.30 in the morning. But I'm going to read the scriptures. But yesterday, I was in, I wasn't even really, I, I was, but I wasn't in prayer. But that's when I got the scripture yesterday. In the evening. And I was just kind of, Searching the, on YouTube and stuff. And I was like, kind of getting annoyed, really, literally, by all the swirly, twirly politics. <laughs> and the Lord said, go to 1 Corinthians 2. 13 through 16. Like, very specific. So I'm going to read them, guys, and then just kind of let you guys chew on this. Because he, he told me, he said, this has to, this is the politics for the day. This is the scripture for the politics for the day. These things we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, concerning spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, nor are the foolish, for they are foolishness to him. Now he can, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual, judging all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For, the, for who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. <clears throat> Guys, we're trying to win this battle in the natural unfortunately and we need to come together as the body of Christ and get this mind get our mind off of all the garbage that's out there I know this message isn't going to sit real well with some and that I'm not trying to be antagonistic or anything either I'm just being obedient it's time that we that we do repent that we do turn from our wicked ways, that we do get back to the word of God, that we do get up at five in the morning and get prayer and get direction from God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word, and not from our phone, YouTube, CNN, just wherever. Our man. Or I think we can vote our way out of this. It's going to be our prayer way of this guys I'm sorry to tell you that that man made stuff isn't going to work guys honestly just a little brutal here and I'm going to end with a couple other scriptures just free ones <laughs> this upcoming election is going to be a mockery of democracy our president's already talking about it, canceling it, changing it, postponing it. The Democratic Party, well, I'm not politicizing this, I'm just saying, you know, just being real, guys. This mail-in vote and all this mess, and guys, we've been, the election stuff has taken years to build and be computerized now and all this stuff. You think in... 90 days or how many days there are that they're going to be able to just throw this together and fix it and change it. No, there's going to be all kinds of messy, ugly, vicious stuff going on. Been trying to get President Trump out for this, his whole term. This Russian collusion and all that stuff. True or not, now it's, you know, their collusion. 
Seriously, guys, honestly, I'm just telling you, I'm not politicizing this. I'm not. It's not a political battle. It's a, de it's a demonic battle. A handful of people have locked us down, guys. Why? Because the enemy's out to steal, kill, and destroy. <clears throat> Look around, guys. It's, the, it's kind of a reality check, honestly. It, it, I've got to take, and this is what the Lord told me a long time ago, but he said, a couple years ago, he said, walk with one as authority. We've got authority and power from upon high. We're just not using it. I am going to make this kind of a short one. Um, here's a little, little tidbit, too. This non-essential, where do you think that came from? The pits of hell, from a demonic force, guys. I can back up what I'm saying with the Bible. We all know and love this one scripture. Even people that aren't even, don't even hardly believe in God know this scripture. For God so loved the world. John 3, 16. All the world. God thought we were all essential. So he sent his son the best that he had. And it wasn't just the best that he had. It was the closest thing to him. It hurt. Do you think that hurt God a lot? To watch his son die and be sacrificed for our sins. The devil still wants us to think that we have no value. And God's telling us we have all the value of heaven and earth. Complete opposite, guys. <clears throat> How to get out of this realm of carnality in this political swirl I'm not saying don't vote That's not what I'm saying I'm not saying don't be involved in it what I'm saying is it's going to be one in the secret places in the prayer altar not with our theology but with our neology guys <clears throat> Be honest, guys, your vote doesn't really, it's, it, right now it doesn't matter. It, look around, guys. Everybody's wearing a mask and locked down. Several, um, I can name names. I'm not going to. You can read between the lines. A handful of them got the governors to lock people down. run by a very few handful of people and they're running it into the ground. Why? Because the enemy of our soul is out to steal, kill, and destroy. Bottom line, guys, and we're not going to win this. this is, I'm not even trying to win this, guys. I'm saying that we can be victorious through the blood of the lamb, but now with all this garbage that we're eating and feeding on and feasting on. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say this, but the president is not gonna win the day Jesus is because God created the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Till we get back to that place, guys, it ain't happening. Love you guys. God loves us. Jesus loves us. The Holy Ghost loves us. And the Word loves us. But we've got to get this right. So here's a couple free scriptures. Just read those. We've got to get our mind out of this clustery, guttery, surreal stuff. I mean... Everything's either election, coronavirus, or some sports, or some entertainment. 
Why do you think so many of the messages that I'm portraying is about idols? Because we've just idolized too many things besides God. He's a jealous God. He wants us back, guys. In the cool of the day. 5 a.m. is very important prayer. Let's do it, guys. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. or this morning at 5 a.m. It's 2 something here. And I'm tired, and I may go back to bed, honestly. Here's a couple free ones. This one's a long story behind it, but it's also in 2 Corinthians. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have they entered into the hearts of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 118 For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Those were highlighted, guys, and I guess they fit into this. But anyhow, we love you guys. Um, Let's let the mind of Christ rule us and not our mind and not our trying to figure this out in the natural. You just, man, wake up any day and just walk out your door and, you know, you can feel the spirit has changed in this country, in the world. Everywhere you go. It's time to take back what the enemy stolen from us guys. And it's not gonna be one in a in a song and on some stage <clears throat> platform, some preacher. It's gonna be one in prayer. Seeking God for wisdom, all of us guys, every single one of us, whether you're in the outhouse, doghouse, or penthouse, wherever house you're at, 5 a.m., guys, get up with me. Pray. We, If we do this as a collective body of Christ, why well, one of the biggest names out there Franklin Graham's calling for a national day of prayer at the White House at Washington why and what did he say no speakers no bunch of preaching prayer we gotta unclutter our mind guys so we can get the mind of Christ and you're not gonna get it with all the garbage that we're being fed Some's coming through the church, supposed the church. Some's coming through the world. A lot's coming through the world. A lot's coming through the media, through all these different avenues, through all this politics, through all this, and all that's doing is wearing us out, if possible. And that's the ploy of the devil. Even this social media garbage. Guys, the, one of the messages I put out, out there was about the, and it's a technology thing, it's about the wizards that peep and mutter. Wizardry, uh, sorcery, demonic stuff coming through the technology, guys. I turn on my computer and the Google and there's some new thing called pin pin task or pin something or other. They even call it a wizard. I'm not making this stuff up, guys, just for to get your votes, to get you to like my YouTube channel. I'm just being obedient to the Lord. I'm telling you, go to him with this. 
Let your source be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Because it's for all. We're all essential. I like the world portrays this as non essential. Who even made that up? The devil himself, guys. To try to just divide and conquer. I'm just going to say this and end with this. Some of it's just, guys, even like the defunding of the police, I mean, even if you're not saved or not filled with the Holy Ghost or not serving God, it's just sheer stupidity and madness. Honestly, guys. It has nothing to do with the race issue, like the media says. It has to do with the power and the control that people are trying to get. Some of them already have it. And they're abusing it. And that's why they don't want the police around. Some of their nefarious stuff's going to get uncovered. Well, guess what, guys? It's going to get uncovered anyhow. God's going to do that. Jesus is going to do that. The Holy Ghost is going to do that. That's what he did with this coronavirus mess. He uncovered the church that said they were the church, but they weren't. Their houses were built upon sand. Oh, he's going to, re he's going to rebuild them upon the rock. And some of us stood, some of us didn't. We need to repent, guys. Get it right with God. Change, turn from our wicked ways. Peel, uh, me too, guys. This is not me saying, hey, do this, do that, you know, like some of the messages that are out there. All. We all need to come to the cross. So, love you guys. Um, let's get our mind out of this surrealness because we're in the world but not of the world. So let's let's act like it. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Um, hopefully not at two in the morning. Because I'm tired. See you guys. Talk to you soon. Love you guys.